The X870E Edge Ti shares the same PCIe lane layout as the X870E Tomahawk. But if you're building a light themed system, then the Edge Ti might be the board you're looking for. Let me show you how it connects and some things to keep in mind before you decide. If you're going with a light themed build, I imagine that color and shades are important to you. So to give you an idea of what color this board is, I have this bright white wall plug to compare it to the back. And as you can see, the PCB is actually gray. And that's true for the front as well. On the front, there's more shades of gray, silver, polished metal. Uh, there's some white on the heat sinks. I don't have anything bright white that I can install. I do have this graphics card that is a mix of polished silver and matte silver. And if we put this in, it actually, it works pretty well with this board. The IO shield is bright white. Let's move on to the PCIe lanes and slots. Four lanes at Gen 5 go to the main M.2. The heatsink on this slot has a quick release and there's a thermal pad on both the heatsink and the board. 16 lanes at Gen 5 go to a Buy 16 slot for the graphics card. 4 lanes at Gen 5 go to a PCIe switch connecting USB 4 and an M.2 slot. This slot is located under a small heatsink with a quick release. In the default mode, all 4 lanes go to USB 4. USB 4 connects to two Type-C ports on the back. Each of these ports supports up to 40 gigabits per second when used individually, or they share the available bandwidth when they're used at the same time. If an SSD is installed in the M.2 slot, USB 4 drops to two lanes, and two lanes go to the M.2 slot. USB 4 can also be disabled with all four lanes going to the M.2. Moving on to the chipset, connecting with the four lane uplink, the first chip connects to another M.2 slot, with four lanes at Gen 4. This slot is located under the same heatsink as the Gen 5 drive. One lane at Gen 3 goes to another by 16 slot. The first chip connects to the second, and four lanes at Gen 4 go to the fourth M.2 slot. This slot has a quick release and a small heatsink with a thermal pad on one side. Four lanes at Gen 4 go to another by 16 slot below. One Gen 3 lane connects to 5 gig LAN. Another lane at Gen 3 connects to Wi-Fi 7. The second chipset chip has an integrated SATA controller that connects to four SATA ports. Each of these ports uses the equivalent of one Gen 3 lane. 